Okay, so here we have the inner fork tube. And a couple key things I want you to look at. As you can see, there, look at the shim stack. That's just for the preload. That's not the shim stack on the valve, obviously, if you know anything about the suspension. That's just on the preload. It is binding up the spring completely. There's four of them. The max that Yamaha calls for is three, max. And the size of those three are uh, two and a, no, 2.3 millimeter, I believe. These bad boys are like three millimeters each, so way too many shims. It's binding up the spring, and you know, most of the time you only want to use these on the spring if you, uh, if your spring length has changed without, you know, within spec, out of spec, I should say. So that's the really only time you want to really mess with that in this particular case. So first thing you want to do, once you've got the inner spring or inner <clears throat> assembly out, you want to put a wrench. You'll notice there is a nut right in here. On the other side, you want to use your socket. Now for this particular bike, it's a, I believe a 19, yeah, 19 millimeter. Uh, some of the Honda bikes and other bikes, they make a, a special tool um, that you would need. Well, not really, but it's, it's a pretty big socket that you would need. So I'm going to use the impact just to make it a little bit easier on myself. And there we go, it's loose. Then we can turn it off here. And this one's gonna have a little kick to it, but there's another area that I want you to see on this. Remember the bits that I was showing you on the outer fork tube, well, just this, they're also on here. Little blue particles, and when I first opened it up, I'm like, what in the heck is that? Well, at the top, open it up there. At the top of this, you know, you've got the outer casing here, top, and then you've got a rubber bump stop. There's the rubber bump stop. And the reason why that happened a um, few things. Probably not enough fork oil, not bled property, properly, leaking, and the fact that the guy put four shims in there. Um, that's the stock ones. They're blue. The O3s were actually some of the better uh, bumpers, or bump stops that you could get, supposedly. So these things are just smashed a bit. So I've got these little blue rubbery plastic particles all throughout these shocks, these forks. So, anyway, that's uh, one reason why I did the first one off camera. So, next thing you want to do, you want to slide your spring off. It'll just simply slide off. And you can tell the markings on your spring. Stock spring will have no markings on either end. If you have a soft hard you'll have notches like you'll have two notches for a soft or I forget the 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 um, way they identify but you, you'll have markings like little slot slots if it's an aftermarket it'll probably have the rate on it these are stock they're 0.43 which for my weight are fine but you do need to measure the length of them and usually that's what you would use these preload shims for See, there's four of them right here. Way too big, way too many. I mean, that's, that's quite a bit there. So, we will be using one of those. Okay, so now that we're this point, I'm actually going to take a break from the video. I'm going to clean these up. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to wipe them down real well, blow them off with some air, um, get all that blue crap out of them, including the, uh, the outer tube and... Uh, once that's done, we'll come back to the next steps. You could take this off if you want. You would probably want to slip out this rod here. Make sure that it's straight. And, it, it, you know, usually they're, they, they are. I mean, it's not very common that those will be bent. And obviously you want to make sure that your, your main shaft is not bent. So of your inner tube, I should say. 
I'm going to clean these up and then uh, we'll come back with the next steps. Stay tuned.